how old is the Earth? I mean, this is a long debated question between, say, creationists and evolutionists, but I'll put forth my opinion on why the Earth is very young. Now, I don't know how old it is. You know, some people say six, seven, eight thousand years. I don't know how old it is. I don't think the Bible tells us. But I will put forth my case, or what I believe the Scripture's case is, for a young earth. So here we have Genesis 1.1, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now here we have the blueprint for all of creation that we have on the earth today. So you have, in the beginning, time, God, intelligence, created force, heavens, space, earth, material. So here we have the five requirements for creation of anything today. Say you wanted to make a cake. You need time to make a cake. You need intelligence to make a cake. You just can't put anything together. You have to put the correct ingredients together. You need force or labor to do it. You need space or an area to put the cake together. And you need the cake mix. Or if you make it by scratch, you need the flour and the sugar and baking soda and whatever. You could substitute cake for automobile or house or uh, any created thing. Now, study, uh, excuse me, science can study these five, but they cannot study the original five here in verse one. The word created there is bara, B-A-R-A, and it means to create, and many times means to make material out of nothing. And you'll find that in Hebrews 11.3, where God says he makes invisible things, or he makes visible things out of invisible. In other words, he made what you can see out of things that didn't exist. Now, science can't study that. How can you study that? Science cannot study that God separated the waters in Genesis 1 from the earth, that God made animals or he made plant life instantly. You can't study that. No one was around to look at that. But in today's day and age, we don't, in this creation or in this um, time period after Genesis 1, we cannot do bara anymore. We cannot create out of nothing. All we do is refashion material. So if you make a house, you've got to have material to begin with. You've got to have a tree that was lumber, uh, create, uh, milled into lumber. You, you have to have oil to make plastics and all sorts of materials. If you make an automobile, you need iron to make steel. and You need rubber to make tires. So you have to start with something to get something out of it. See, it's different. That is vastly different than Genesis 1.1, where God creates things out of nothing. Now, since God lives outside of space and time, he does not need time to create something. We do. To make a cake, it may take an hour. It may take, you know, 15 minutes to put everything together and 45 minutes in the oven. Without time, we cannot make a cake. So, God creates in its most productive state or its most mature state. In Genesis 1, he creates in its most productive state or its most mature state. It looks old because that's the most productive state. When you go and buy an automobile, you buy, in it, you buy that automobile in its most productive state so it can be used. It already is aging. It's already older. So Adam and Eve, they look old. They were adults. One day they exist as an adult, say 21 years old. The day before, they did not exist. They're in their most productive state, in their most mature state. They went over and grabbed the fruit from a tree, a full-grown tree, in its most productive state or in its most mature state. 
If you cut that tree down, I bet you had tree rings. But yet, it didn't exist the day before. And tree rings are required to hold a tree up. It's like plywood. You need the, that, those layers of, of fibers for strength. So when God did this, he did not require time. We do. Another, an example that sometimes science uses is that there are stars billions and billions of light years away. So, and the light that is now hitting the earth must have taken billions and billions of light years to get here. But yet God created that light in its most productive state or mature state. He created it already en route to the earth. So everything looks and tests old because, as I said, that's its most productive or mature state. So after Genesis 1, the laws of maintenance or the laws of physics take over and they preserve creation. These are the maintenance laws and not the original creation laws. So after Genesis 1, all the plants and animals came from seeds, other plants and animals. The first ones did not. That's a big difference. So these are not the original creation laws. So original creation laws are much more difficult than maintenance laws. So let's use an example today. If you want to create an automobile, that's hard to do. You need someone to design it. You need materials. You need suppliers. You need labor. But isn't it much easier to maintain that? All you need is oil and tires and gas and a repair now and then. So the laws of creation, of God's creation, are very complex. We don't know what they are and very difficult. But the laws to maintain it are not as difficult. St science can only study maintenance laws. They cannot study creation laws as found in Genesis 1. So science mistake is that maintenance laws are the same as creation laws. They view them as the same. The Bible says the original creation laws are different than the laws of physics or the laws of maintenance. They're very, very different and you cannot study Genesis 1. You just can't. They are gone and they're finished. So in conclusion, God does not require time to create. He creates in its most productive state or its most mature state. But you, it looks that way and it studies old. That's why the moon studies old, the earth studies old. So when science looks at these things, they look billions of years old. Not that God's trying to fool us, but because that's how this, the earth and the universe are usable in their most productive state or mature state. So I don't find that a very difficult thing to believe because that's what we do today. When you buy a toaster, you don't buy it half finished. You buy it finished in a box, ready to use in its most productive state. And other than the model or design, you would have no idea how, when it was made. Was it made yesterday or 15 years ago? You just don't know because it's in its most productive state. So I hope this helped a little bit and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.